direction. Hello and welcome to my new collection of scarves called the Trompe L'oeil Collection based on some very time intensive, fun loving tapestries and printed digitally onto habitized silk 125 centimetres square. That means you've got an awful lot to play with. Here's one of them, primary colours, abstract pattern, very geometrical. As you can see, a lot to play with. We start by making it into a triangle. You've got all that silk. It fits beautifully over the shoulders and makes a lovely summer shawl. It protects your shoulders and you can use it to protect your neck as well. So my favourite way of wearing it, because it's so versatile, you tie a double knot at the bottom. Reef knot. Oh, reef knot. You pull it down so it's not caught on your shoulders, it's more around your neck. And then you twist it. So I've always called this a figure of eight. You draw that over your head and voila, you've got a lovely lot of drapery around your neck or you can pull it around and it's sort of called cowboy style. You bring the point of the triangle down in front of you and then you can have the knot over or you can hide the knot and between underneath whatever suits you. So that is two ways, one scarf, but we carry on to another one. I'll just take this off, bear with me. Here we have number two scarf and this design was based on flags but then it was also a form of meditation where I just went from one square to another square, lots of different colours until it grew and grew and grew. So again, we're going to make it into a triangle. We're going to put it on the shoulders and just simply twist it around and just have the long bits hanging at the side. So you've got colour down there, you've got colour against your neck. You can also use this scarf the same, tie the scarf the same way I tie my long scarves. Again, you have the triangle. You pass this around your neck. You tuck it under like that. And there you have it. A lot of different directions of the whole pattern. Eye catching protecting the neck, warm, draping, very attractive. You can also, again with the triangle, tie a knot and bring the knot to the side. This is a lovely, very chic, fashionable way of wearing it. And just have the down like that and that to the side over the shoulders. And see what a difference it makes to just a plain t-shirt and jeans outfit. We're all coming out of lockdown, we haven't got the new outfits, but a scarf can do the trick. It can make you look special. Action. Hello again, here we are with the four Trump Low scarves. So, I've shown you two of them. Here's the remaining two. Halfway there. Now this design was based on Shetland knitwear. And I use the way they use the patterns and stripes and you can see one way or another with a nice solid center. So you're gonna to have to use some imagination here. Imagine I'm on the beach in the bikini. What could be better than a, just a nice flash of colour, give you that extra bit of confidence. You just wrap it round your waist. It's not a sarong, but it's almost as good, even better. There you go. You could wear it round the skirt or a summer frock as well, because you've got so much to play with. And it just, the pattern and everything just lends itself to this sort of shape. Take it off again. 
keeping the triangle whoops it came out of the triangle never mind got the triangle just simply twist draw that back you can tuck it around or we'll start with the triangle at the front swap the sides around there and just leave it hanging this again is an ultra ultra fashionable way of wearing a scarf right gotta go doorbell your watering can. Okay, back again after the delivery. Best laid plans of mice and men. This is the final scarf. You think it's monochrome? Please don't think it's monochrome. There is so much colour in here. It's just that the palette is limited and it means it's so versatile. With this, I'm going to fold it like that, fold it like that. So it's in four, but you've got the whole length to play with. And what could be better than using this like a cravat? You've got a lovely weight around your neck without it being stifling or cooking you. Just cross over or just one simple knot. And the bottom just fans out. You've got all the colour there and a big chunky winter coat on top. It's not going to fight. It's nice, it's light, it's loose. Finally, we can follow our wonderful queen. God bless her, who's often to be seen with a scarf round her head. I'm having a little bit of difficulty here, but we should get there. There you go, triangle again. Now the Queen's often seen with a headscarf and she wears it wonderfully. You just on your head and again a knot around your chin. Look at that. And if you want to go even further and get the dark sunglasses, you can carry it around your neck and be like Audrey Hepburn or Jackie Onassis. There you go. So that concludes. I've got a final shot where I want to prove my point that these scarves are not just for ladies, women, girls, females, whatever. Here we go. Now well, we're going to have to swap over videos and scarves, but I'm going to put this on the wonderful cameraman. Yay! A round of applause for the cameraman. I'm going to disappear. Here, it's on top of him. I'm going to take the camera, whoops, big thumbs, turn it around, and he's going to model it. See? How nice it looks on top of his brand new shirt. Just a simple knot. Eat a heart out, Peter Moles. What could be nicer? So that's that. Hope you've picked up some tips and I hope you like my scarves. They're all available on my website. Just go to the Trump Roy collection and there'll be more to come. Bye. Hello. I talked about how men like to wear my scarves too, and why not? They all deserve a bit of colour. Not everything of mine is absolutely in your face colour. And Richard's picked up a 
We've swapped roles. I'm cameraman, Richard is model today. He's picked up one of my silk squares, my new trompe l'oeil silk squares, and he's going to repeat the modelling of how you wear it as a cravat. Very simple, it's folded in four, so you've got the nice thick weight. He's simply knotting it, and there you go. Nice splash of colour round the neck, nice and comfy, and light to wear. So, I mentioned my long silk scarves. These are the crepe de chine silk scarves, and here's one that Richard wears LA style. That means you fold it in half, and you simply pull it through that loop. And you get the similar effect to the cravat, but because it's a lighter scarf, you've got less sort of flamboyancy. And the, what Richard likes is to wear my velvet scarves in the garden because they're light, they're colourful, but they're easy to wear and give a lot of warmth if it's a bit chilly. Simply wrap around the neck and tuck in the loose bits because you don't want them getting mixed up with the secateurs. So doesn't that look great? Why not be stylish when you're in the garden? I tell you, we watch art in lockdown with Philip Mole. Hasn't he got a collection of scars? But I tell you what, Richard's got more. This is his very own pashmina. I'm showing my whole range here. This is the pashmina. And don't look for this one on the website because this is Richard's very own. And as each one is hand painted, there's never a reproduction. So he's going to tie it in the way that I teach with that knot that will never come undone. Instructions are in on my website and I, on a postcard too, which I enclose with each purchase. So there is a knot, all done, dead simple. If he can do it, anybody can. And uh, that's my full range. Thanks ever so much, Richard. That's been great. Now, you can see me on www.shellyfaylazar.com. What's that, Richard? www.shellyfaylazar.com. Thank you. It's an unusual name, so if you Google me, you'll find me very easily. All my contact details are there, and it'd be a pleasure to hear from you, or you can order direct from my website. So that's that. Hope you enjoy my our little art gallery as a bonus and I hope and look forward to hearing from you soon. Bye.